Right now, we're in a strange, strange place in the United States of America. It is strange, it is different, it is crazy. I was watching a video of a girl who has not one, but two six-figure businesses. And this girl put out that she was trying to buy a property in Miami. And she said, we could not succeed in getting a property in Miami because we kept getting outbid. So we actually ended up buying a property in Mexico. I sat there and I looked at that video. Not one, but two six-figure businesses and she had money, she had a lot of money, and she could not buy a property in Miami. This is one of the most extraordinary things that is happening in the United States of America. You could have a six-figure household income and still be struggling to afford to buy the finer things in life. And this bores this video where I call it the American dream, the six figure trap. All right, and this is something we discussed and we brought this up before. America is getting more and more expensive. That is not going to change. If you look at housing prices, because everyone is waiting for a big, massive housing crash, so properties could be more affordable. Alrighty, we are here at I Eat Fire, my new training portal. And let me go ahead and explain to you what is getting ready to happen. Make sure that we go into this. So this is the Corporate Citizen Playbook Training. And this is the thing that we've got going on and a lot is happening. So let me explain to you where we are. Okay, this is the training. We're gonna have to pop in there. So some concepts and some we have a lot of stuff in here, and today we can just kind of walk through it. Welcome to the Corporate Citizen Playbook. We've got that. We've got the hidden companies, the understanding of C-Corps and trusts, S-Corp formation, and now we're about to get into business banking. How to talk to your banking, how to set up your situation for having your corporate banking together because essentially when you set up corporate banking for your holding company that's going to be different than when you set up your banking for your operating company and this is one of the things that we're getting ready to cover in the course today so if you're not a member you should go ahead and involve yourself because this is one of the beautiful things that's happening about the current offer. If you go ahead and get in now at that low price using promo code JUMP, J-U-M-P, you will get everything else that I'm getting ready to do this year. So the link should be in the video description or it should be in the comments. So once again, hopefully I'll see you in here and we're getting ready to get into corporate banking which will include how to get business credit for an active company with tax forms and some of the things that you should and should not do. So the links below, go ahead and get in it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until we actually have an ample supply, cause right now housing is very shortage. There's two factors. Number one, there are people who have houses who have extremely low interest rates, two point something, three point something, and they sell their house, even though they can make a lot of money, this would thrust them into the interest rates of six to 7%, depending upon their credit score. 
so they could like roll out and roll in they can roll out their house and roll into a demolition fire because here's the thing that a lot of people who own houses that have these low interest rates know they sell their house they may be unable to get another house so i know a lot of people are waiting for the price of housing to crash they're waiting for it to get extremely low and until our housing supply, which I predict to be two to three years out, gets more ample, we're not going to have a crash. We may have corrections. We may have people like, uh, just kind of stick with me here for a minute. Let's say your house was worth $150,000 in 2019. And due to the pandemic increases in rates, your house is now worth 300,000, okay? And let's say you have a 10% correction in price, which is now 30. This brings your house down to 270,000, okay? Which is still $120,000 more than what the price of your house was in 2019. So even with reductions and corrections, we're still not going to go to the 2019, the 2018, the 2017 pricing. It's just not going to happen. And I have seen many people. First of all, let me just go ahead and say this. Shout out to the nerd gang, to the nerd tribe, to the people who understand the things that are going on and the people who are prepping and preparing themselves to be bigger, bolder, and to create a different situation for themselves. So shout out to those people who understand what's going on. So we know that America is getting more expensive. And I'm about to say something that I am going to, I'm not going to regret this. The current state of America that we have is for the top 20% of American families who have the income to live the American dream, which means that 80% of the people are struggling or suffering or being forced out, uh, being gentrified. And this is not going to stop anytime soon. We're on the verge of having a recession. Let's talk about that. We have a recession, right? And a recession, what does a recession mean? A recession means that the economy pulls back. Rich folks love recessions because it's an opportunity for them to scale up and get even richer because the price of assets is lower. Um, so what's going to happen in the next recession is going to be the same thing that has happened in previous recessions. The people with money, the people who are rich are just going to get richer. The people who don't have money, who are struggling, are going to struggle even more. I will say there are some people who have not still recovered from the last Great Recession. They're still struggling. So I have a lot of people who watch and tune in. And once again, shout out to the Nerd Tribe. Shout out to the people who enjoy this content. What? is the answer number one i'm seeing a lot of youtube channels that are popping up where people are leaving the united states of america they're moving to portugal they're moving to south america ecuador colombia brazil mexico they're leaving the united states of america because it is just too expensive as jimmy mcmillan said rent's too high and one of the things that I see this is going to be a growth industry. If you are a person in another country, you need to go ahead and establish a YouTube channel and some guides and some advice to bring people in because this is going to be a growth industry. Why do I say creating a portal to help people leave the United States of America is going to be a growth industry? What did I just say? This is the United States of America, baby. Greatest country in the world, baby. And the prices are not going to get lower. I said this in a previous video, I'm gonna say it again. 
30 years in the future, people will be wishing for the 2023 prices. So in 50, 50, 50, yeah, 50, let's see, 30. 2053, you will have people who will be wishing for the gas prices, be wishing for the housing prices, be wishing, because once we get 30 years in the future, the price of things is going to be so dramatically high. And this is just the natural course of inflation. This is just the natural thing. And with the cost of living getting more and more expensive to the point that you're seeing a lot of six figure household income couples coming on the social media saying we cannot afford a house. We're having to rent a house in a bad neighborhood. That's very, very telling. Very, very telling that when you and your wife together earn $100,000 a year and you're struggling, you're struggling. So I have a lot of people that's like, Lyndon, what's the answer? What should we do? All right, here's the answer. You need to make more money. I know that sounds extremely simple, and we will get into the details of the things that you need to do to make more money. But one of the things that you have to do and understand, we're in the belly of the beast. What is the beast? The beast is the United States of America. What's going on in the belly of the beast? Prices go up. Uh, I was looking at Porsches, and this is really, really interesting. There's something that's called an air-cooled Porsche and the market on these cars is stupid. These cars are, which sold for, I believe, 70 to 80,000 when they were brand new, are selling for 150 to 200,000 because they're used and in good condition. So you're going to see certain things like this watch, right? Let's see, can we go ahead and get it to focus? Well, we may not get it to focus, but you can see, ah, there it is. This watch, uh, I paid $51,000 for this watch. Recently, I have seen this watch going for 52 to 55,000. Stick with me, I'm going somewhere here. I have a Porsche, I have a Rolex. These are going to be assets, depending upon how I treat them. Like the Rolex, it's going to get more and more expensive. The Porsche, as long as I don't put a lot of miles on it, I can tell you that in the future, and when I say future, I'm not talking about two or three years. If I kept that Porsche for 20 years and I kept the mileage low, I can actually sell that car for more than what I paid for it. So. What you're going to have to do is make more money and start to buy things that can be considered assets that you can use and enjoy today. Because we're in the belly of the beast. This is not going to change. So if you want to live in America, and I think many of you do, you're going to have to make more money. You're going to have to create, you're going to have to build, you're going to have to do things to enable you to be more self-sufficient and to get a business. And once again, and someone put this in the comment section, as I have alluded in the beginning, starting your business is going to be rough. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to set you up to fail. I'm because th th this is what I'm trying to do. This, this, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to prepare you for your opportunities with the truth. Starting that business first year, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. This is one of the reasons that I advise you not to quit your job. And this is one of the reasons that I advised you to get into the money management course so you can treat your money better. You treat your money better, your money will treat you better. So one of the things that we're gonna get into in the corporate citizen playbook is the building of businesses. Now, right now, 
everyone is looking for hot, dynamic, something quick, something that I can do. Uh, there's a girl here on YouTube who puts out, and she says the best free content on how to start a business. And I asked myself, why are you creating this content? And it hit me. Her inner avatar is that of a poor person. Even though she has these businesses and she's doing well, her inner avatar is that of a poor person. And I, I, I've seen this avatar pop up several, several different times. And that inner avatar of being a poor person is going to keep her from reaching her highest level of success. I know you're like, what? Once again, when you think like a poor person, because let me go ahead and try to explain this. I buy online courses. Uh, there's a course I'm looking at buying. It's going to be like 2,500. I'm about, I'm about 50%. Am I going to buy them? I'm not going to buy it because here's the thing. When you buy an online course, you got to go through it. Right now I'm extremely busy and that's one of the factors that's weighing in on should I buy this course because I got to figure out a place where I got to put it. So that's the biggest thing that's going on. And I have no problem. Uh, I bought a LinkedIn course, which I'm going to have to go through again because I haven't had the time to set up a new LinkedIn page. And you know, th this is, you know, time, time is really, really important. So one of the reasons that I haven't bought this course is I don't have the time to really go through it and to do it in the manner that it needs to be. So I may buy this course sometime in the future. So I, I'm a believer of buying courses. I am an online course creator. So, and th this is one of the funniest things. I remember years and years ago, and this was uh, when I was on Facebook because I spend virtually no time on Facebook except to sell cars. Um, this person was came in with this inquiry, how can I get salespeople and all this other stuff to get this $50,000 course? And then I went ahead and left a comment, which was quite simple. I was like, this is what you do. You go out and you buy a $50,000 course and you look at how they treat you. And then you take that elements of stuff and put in your course. I didn't get any response. See, th this is one of the things that just kills me. Um, you have a lot of people who want to create an online course, but they won't buy one. They don't believe in buying online courses. And I had a conversation with someone who was talking about, yeah, I want to create these online courses. And I said, how many online courses have you bought? He said, well, I've never bought an online course. I don't believe in that. All right. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. If you want to be successful selling online courses, I would highly advise you to start buying online courses because, um, one of the things that is happening is because I bought this course by Justin Welch and I really love the way that he set up the course, the way the course was laid out. I learned how to use Loom, which I never knew existed before I took that course. And this is why the corporate citizen playbook is going to be so saucy and so dynamic because I looked at some of my older courses and the content is good but the presentation is not what I would want. And this is one of the things like, have you noticed every video I'm in this black shirt, every, vi every other video, I maybe have this red hat on. There's a reason for that. It's called continuity. And what's going to happen with all of my courses is I'm going to be dressed the same. It's going to be the same background. It's going to be the same tonality. And this is going to provide a level of comfort for the people who invest in the course because Man, there's so much that's going on. There's so much that's going on, but let me get back on topic. You need to make more money. You need number one. Let's go ahead and actually go through this in a proper sequence. What's the first thing you need to do? You need to manage your money better. You need to manage your, your credit on a very high level. This is the first thing that you need to do. You need to establish proper monetary protocols for your money now before you start making more money. Number two, you need to create a side business. What is creating a side business? Number one, you're not quitting your job. 
Uh, I have seen countless videos talking about quitting my job, quitting my job, quitting my job. You are not going to quit your job. What you're going to do is keep your job, keep your money. Cause like, once again, with the money management course, if you hadn't got the money management course, go ahead and get into it. And all the links are in the description. If it's not in the comments and you will need to start a side business, which means with your job, you're going to get up, you're going to go to work. And then when you get off work, guess what? You're going to go to work again. You're going to be doing more. You're going to be doing a lot more. You're going to be creating a situation where everything is about to become a lot different, a lot different. And you're going to open up the doors to you setting up and creating your new thing. And one of the things that you have to do, and one of the things that you have to realize is this is going to take time, effort, and work. It's just this. I'm not going to sit here and sell you some fantasy or dream that you can go out. I'm not going to be, hi, my name is Joe. And if you go ahead and get my little widget for $1,500, you could be able to quit your job in 30 days because you're going to be making so much money. That's what this little widget teach you how to do. I am not doing that. What I'm saying is there are some of you who can do this in a year, but the average life expectancy for you to dramatically change your finances and change your household income, you're looking at three years to dramatically change your household income, to dramatically change the things that you're doing. Now you could, once again, I'm telling you, people leaving the United States and living in other countries, if you go ahead and put a good pictorial portal videos, there's this couple, um, AJ and Emery, they're in Ecuador and they're literally putting such a shine on Ecuador the medical insurance is cheaper. Uh, they, they have really put together a remarkable presentation. And you, what you need to do, once again, if you're outside the United States, you need to pull up an online portal. You need to be talking about the best and the worst of that country. Because I'm telling you, as we move further, further down this food chain, we're gonna have more people who are going to choose to leave the United States of America. We're going to have more people who are going to choose to get out of the United States of America. We're going to have more and more people who are going to choose to go to a lower cost of scale economy. And you know, it, it's kind of funny. I had a guy from Brazil leave me a comment. Now here's the thing. I have been to Brazil one, two, three times and most of Brazil is poor but they are very nice, loving people. They're very much loving. It's nothing to see a couple making out on the corner of a street. Very, they're very much about the love. But here's the thing. Brazil is a different kind of country. Let's say you're in the bakery and someone comes in and try to rob the bakery. When the police come by, because all the local people are going to run because they know what's about to happen. The police is gonna come up and they're gonna shoot the whole place. Uh, it, it's, it's like, it's different living in Brazil. And if you don't have money, you don't have a source of income and you cannot live in the upper elevations of Brazil, hmm, it can be a little rough. It can be a little rough. But what I'm telling you is this is going to be a growth industry. Kind of like van life is a growth industry. Van life is very much a big and real thing. Uh, if you don't believe me, check out the van life YouTube channels, but once again, you're going to have to make more money. Your goal should be to get in the top 20% of America so you can buy a house in a nice neighborhood, drive a nice car, afford medical insurance, afford all the things that you need and afford to have money to invest for your retirement. Because if you don't do that, like, you know, there's a lot of talks that social security is gonna be bankrupt very soon. I don't know the exact date, but I keep hearing that they're going to run out of money very soon, which I find to be interesting because social security collects money out of my check 
So I, I find it very hard to believe that they're going to run out of money. They may run into a crisis because there's ways for people to get money out of Social Security that is not tied to their contributions. So we will see. We will see. But once again, the goal is if you want to live in the United States of America, you need to make more money. That's it. It's not going to change. It's not going to get any different. It's not going to get any better. This is where we're heading. And if you want to be here and if you want to live in one of the finer parts of America, you definitely need to make more money. All right. So uh, should by the end of the week, I should have a corporation in Wyoming which is going to be my new holding company. And for my students, I'm going to talk about the whole process of how I can have one holding company and then go ahead and transfer and create another holding company and just literally, literally just like slide companies over. I mean, I call it corporate chess because here's the thing. When you have a business that's up and running and making money, there's a lot of things you can do with that business. Number one, you can get income to live. Number two, you can get business credit. Number three, you can use it as an asset. Number four, you can sell it to another company, make some money, or you could create your own little corporate empire. Because like I said, there's some things I'm getting ready to get into. Once again, time is an issue. So I have to do these things step by step by step. And oh man, this year is going to be wild. This year is going to be crazy because one of the things that I want to do and want to establish is a community and I have the portal to do that. But here's the thing. I have a lot of people who will sign up for a course and will not participate in their community. You know, and it's just like, I know because I got a target date. I got a target date and it's not not really this summer, it's more toward this fall to create this a community of people who are actually doing some stuff. Because one of the things that has happened with the communities that I create is people are waiting for me to chime in so they can have conversations with me versus having conversation with other community members. And uh, there's going to be, I'm gonna let you know, there's gonna be a copywriting course as part of this. So what you want to do today is go ahead and make the investment and get into the corporate citizen playbook. Because if you go ahead and make the low investment, use promo code JUMP, J-U-M-P, and go ahead and get into that new training, you're going to save yourself a lot of money in terms of bank purchasing the course. Because once I get finished with the corporate citizen playbook, the price is going to go up, and then we're gonna get into how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel training. We're gonna get into that. So once again, the ability to get into these courses is in the comment section. And it, well, it should be in the comment section and the ability to get in these courses should be in the video description section. So we have a lot of things that we gotta do and essentially whether a recession happens, which I'm beginning to feel that a recession is very much gonna happen. But once again, how you prepare, how you conduct yourself during this recession is gonna make a huge difference on what side of the recession that you come out on. My name is Glennon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.